So, welcome to page 182. It's Friday, May 10th, 2020. Fascinating date. You know we're going to do something with that. I can hear the wheels turning. So, the first word, we're going to skip down to number two and look at this layout. It is quite a bit different for today. It's the word long. What's the word? Exactly. Is it short or is it long when we're measuring the length of, of something? It's long, okay? But also in the emotional sense. I long to be with my friends or my family. I yearn that strong feeling inside long. Let's go ooh, ah, ng, long. Let's go one, two, three. Ooh, ah, ng, long. How do we mark this up? You got it. All right? And we can use it more than one way. Excellent. It is a homograph. So when we measure how long something is, we are measuring its length. Excellent. Length. Let's go ooh, eh, ng, length. Let's go, ooh, eh, ng, length. How do we mark this up? On the line of ng and the th. What do we do with these two words? Excellent, brace. The next word, <clears throat> skip down uh, to number uh, four. Okay, the number, number four is the word strong. What's the word? Excellent, strong, mighty, powerful, strong. Let's go, st. R A ng strong. Let's go one two three. S t r a ng strong. How do we mark this up? Excellent. Underline the ng. When we measure how some how how strong someone is, we are measuring its strength. Like even a garbage bag, it has to have a certain amount of strength. No, it does not work out with weight. It just has to be able to take a certain amount of capacity. Okay. Yes, capacity. Strength. Let's go. S t r eh, sorry, sorry, s t r eh, ng, strength. Let's go. S t r ang, sorry, eh, ng, strength. Sorry about that, my tongue got a little tied there. How do we mark this up? On the line, the ng and the th. What do we do with these two words? Excellent. All right. So, going to number five, we're going to skip down to number six. It's the word wide. What's the word? Okay, when there's a lot of space, wide. Let's go. Open up wide, said the dentist, and you don't want to because you're afraid he or she's going to drill your mouth. W I D, silent E, wide. Let's go. W I D, silent E, wide. How do we mark this up? You got it. On the line of I and the silent E twice, draw an arrow back, you know the rest. Okay, when we're measuring how wide something is, exactly, it's called width. Width. Got to get that D in there because, because it comes from the word wide. Okay, so width. Okay, the width, the length, right, like area, the width of this table is seven feet, it's seven feet wide. Let's go. Width. Let's go. Woo. I, d, sorry, width, cross the T, dot your I, what do we, and how do we mark this up? On the line, of, what do we do with these two words? Excellent. All right, skip down to number eight. It's the word deep. What's the word? Yes, the ocean is seven miles deep. Let's go, d, e, p, deep. Now, sometimes someone will make, say, that's a deep point. Okay, I say you have to dig down deep, but it is not a homograph in that sense. So how do we mark this up? Excellent, on the line, the E. Now, when you're measuring how deep something is, like a pool, or even an idea, or a book, you are measuring its depth. Depth. Let's go. D, E, P, F. Depth. Let's go. D, E, P, F. Depth. How do we mark this up? On the line, the th. What do we do with these two words? Excellent. Now, think about it. Depth, width, and length, also with height, that's, that's, that's like measuring volume, all right? Length, width, and height, not depth. That's three-dimensional in that sense, okay? Uh, which is sort of related, but we'll get to that. Anyway, getting back to the word uh, number 10 is an old spelling word. It's the word way. What's the word? Excellent. Way, okay? How heavy something is. W a. Let's go. W A. And I'm sure you figured out what we're going to be marking, what the next word is. How do we mark this up? Excellent. Underline the A. 
is weight. Let's go. W A T weight. Dot your I cross your T. How do we mark this up? Excellent. And since we measure weight and how much something weighs and how heavy it is, now we're going to measure how tall something is or how high it goes. It's the word height. Okay? I'm sorry, it's high. So let's go. I. High. Old spelling word. I. How do we mark this up? Exactly, on the line of the I. And again, remember we did this the other day. The word height comes from the word high, but they used to say it as hate, like in weight. Hate. All right, height. Let's go. Just say height and write. And let's triple underline this because it does not follow the rules. What do we do with these two words? Brace. Excellent job. So let's let's go. I high. Eight height. W a way. W eight weight. I'm sorry. W eight weight. Okay. D e p deep. D e p depth. Get that P in there when you say it. depth. W I, I'm sorry, W I D, silent E, wide. I got ahead of myself with this. W I D, width. You got to get that D in there. It's a little awkward. S T R, A N, strong. S T R, E N, strength. U A N, long. Two sentences. U E N. Length. You got off easy today, I could tell you this much. I expect a lot of depth in your sentences, and the length of them should be significant. Okay? Open your, <clears throat> open your minds up wide. Be strong. Show your strength. Reach new heights. Okay? Get as high as you possibly can in terms of your thinking. All right? And add a lot of weight to your ideas. Okay, and then I'll weigh in with my corrections. Anyway, have fun.